Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Sealed for Good. Today we'll be taking a look at balconies and some of the associated topics. Uh, this episode we're going to be looking at liquid membranes versus sheet membranes, some of the pros and cons for those systems when it comes to balcony applications. Hope you enjoy. So first we'll start off looking at liquid membranes. So these are materials that most of you should be pretty familiar with. Um, I'm sure we've all come across our famous 38FC, um, fast curing, really good consistency, easy application, and easy to access. So there's other options as well. We have the 2P, two part cementitious options, and also some UV stable options like the P39. So the biggest disadvantages, especially when we're talking about water-based liquid membranes, is consistency of curing and expected curing time when the weather conditions cool down and when the humidity starts to go up. So this has a drastic effect on its curing time and you may not have the turnaround time expected and you may also run into trouble if you have imminent rain or if it rains a couple of days after application with washout and other issues as well. This is where a sheet membrane like our BRW PFN has doesn't have those limitations, I should say. So, instant application, it's a peel and stick product, really good adhesion to a wide variety of different surfaces, and also has much better anti-fracture properties than standard liquid applied membranes. So, prime the surface, peel and stick, and then a bit of detailing to the joints and the junctions, and then the next day, you can be confident that you can be ready for the tiling application or the screed over application. Again, if we're looking back at the anti-fracture properties of this product, it's very good underneath a screed as it will protect that system from more movement from the surfaces and substrates themselves. So some of the other advantages with a sheet membrane is your film thickness is built in. So this is a one mil thick sheet and you don't need to worry so much about checking your film thickness as you would with a liquid applied membrane. So some of the other advantages as well is obviously when we're looking at something like lightweight construction. So lightweight balconies are more prone for more movement, whether that be thermal or other structural types of movement. So it does, like I mentioned before, protect your overlays much better than a liquid membrane would. With that said, it's not to say that a liquid membrane isn't suitable for those type of constructions because with the grip set system, we've also got our detailing tapes and accessories that we use at these critical areas. So whether that be your joints and your junctions, you can be assured that you'll be able to manage those type of movements as well with the normal expected movement in that type of construction. The other thing is, if you'd like to know more, you can always reach out to our technical support team or our representatives around the country. They can offer a lot of advice when it comes to the type of considerations to make with those type of materials. And we also offer our gap training, which really focuses on all our sheet membrane products. So if you are a contractor and you wanna get your hands on some product and you really wanna get you know, your head around all the type of detailing and different application techniques, make sure you get in touch with us. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Sealed for Good. Hope to catch you next time. See you then.